What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we are going to be showcasing Infernape on the Regulation E ladder. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, what are you doing? Take two seconds out of your day to scroll down a little bit and click that big red subscribe button. But Infernape is in the top right hand corner or top left hand corner, I should say. And it is going to be our first Pokemon that we talk about for today's team preview. But Infernape is a lot of people's favorites. It's a very strong Pokemon, but it's very niche situation. It's not that bulky. It can hit pretty hard. And there's a lot of Pokemon that can outspeed in the meta right now that can take it out. So we're just going to try to showcase and kind of use it to its fullest potential, which I think we could do in today's video. But Infernape's got Blaze, it's got the Focus Sash as item, and then track a close combat for a big time stab hit and move, Mach Punch for first turn priority, and then last but not least, we got Raging Fury and Protect. Iron Hands is in our second slot, and Iron Hands is old reliable in regulation. It's a Pokemon that can never go wrong on any team that it's on. It's got Cork Drive, it's got Assault Vest, with Fake Out, Drain Punch, Wild Charge, and Heavy Slam to deal with those Flutter Mains and other Fairy types. Third slot is going to be our Flutter Moon with Protosynthesis and the Booster Energy. Such a great ability and item combo. It's got Moon Blast and Shadow Ball, obviously for its two heavy hitting stab moves. And we got Icy Wind for Speed Control and Protect just to protect itself. Ogre Pond is in our fourth slot. And this Pokemon is good on the support side because it learns Follow Me and on the attacking side because its attack stat is phenomenal. It's got Water Absorb with a Wellspring Mask and then Ivy Cudgel, Wood Hammer, Follow Me, and Spiky Shield. This slot is going to be Choice Scarf Landers, and Choice Scarf Landers is amazing. Super fast, crazy strong, and it also comes with the great ability of Intimidate. It's got Terror Blast with the Flying Terror type, Rocking Stopping Tantrum, U-Turn, and Rock Slide. In our final slot, we're rocking out with King Gambit, and King Gambit, or I should say this King Gambit build, I've been seeing a lot on Regulation E. It's got Defiant with the Black Glasses, Cow Attack Cleave, Sucker Punch, Sword Stance for that plus two attack boost, and then Protect for its final move. Guys, you want to rent this team for yourself? Well, that's the code is at top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that regulation E ladder. Look to showcase Infernape on the rank ladder. First match on its way, and we're going up against straight meta. They got Tordatus, Urshvu, Fluttermane, Hisuian Arcanine, Rillaboom, and Shen Pao. This might be one of the strongest teams on the rank ladder at the moment. It's just crazy strong. Just all those Pokemon all combined into one. But we got some good Pokemon just as well. And we also have Inferno. It's going to get some work done. We'll probably bring him in as a back-end Pokemon. But for now, a nice little lead for us could be Iron Hands alongside with Fluttermane. That wouldn't be bad because we could fake out. We can also go into Icy Winds. We can get some speed control that way. A Pokemon that we're going to have to watch out for would be the Tornadus coming in here and just taking speed control. So that's why I think this lead could be pretty solid for us. And I might want to do that. Yeah, I'm down for that. So I'm going to go into these two. I'm going to bring Infernape as a back-end Pokemon. And then last but not least, who do we go into? Ogre Pond's not bad. We got Water Absorb to deal with that Urshifu. We can also hit hard on the other Pokemon. I do like Ogre Pond, so I might just do that. But a Pokemon, again, we're going to have to watch out for it. It's going to be Rillaboom. There's multiple different Pokemon that are just a problem at hand. But I feel like with Infernape, with Fluttermane and all that, we can kind of deal with that Rillaboom, right? So yeah, I'm going to go Ogre Pond here as our final slot. I'm going to lock it in. So let's look to grab ourselves a win here in match number one up against this tough meta team. We'd love to start things off hot and go 1-0, but you never know. Especially going up against meta, always a problem. Always a problem. And Rillaboom with Grassy Glide. That just seems to always be a threat, especially whenever I'm using any type of Pokemon. It just hits so hard with the Grassy Train. It's always tough to counter. And a lot of times, Indeedee's not really being used unless you're running a Trick Room team. So to change the train is always tough. They end up going into these two, which I don't mind. I mean, this just seems like a simple, a simple fake out of the Urshifu, right? I could actually just go here, Wild Charge, and Moon Blast if I want to, which I'm thinking of doing, because I got Boost Energy and Speed, correct? That's gotta be Boost Energy and Speed, right? Yeah, it's Boost Energy and Speed. So right now we're out speeding. Only problem would be if he... I, I don't think he protects, to be honest. I don't think he protects. I mean, I think he, like, which all is protects. Yeah, that's fine. That works. I was going to say, our only problem would be if they set up Tailwind. But I was going to say, there's a hot chance of them, that them just, like, protecting. So he's going to intimidate me. That's fine. We'll see what they want to end up doing with the Urshu, which I think they're probably going to just protect it, right? Yeah, so they end up protecting the Urshu here. 
Moonblast is going to come out here. It's going to get blocked. And Wild Charge is going to come across here. Hit up on you and do a little bit of damage. Oh, we get a crit. That's... That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Can't sugarcoat it. That's beautiful. It's lovely. It's a lovely sight. So from here, to be honest, I'm just going to Drain Punch. I mean, you can hard swap back maybe into Tornas. And I might, I might just Wild Charge just in case. But is there... Could they double down and maybe just KO anybody? Not really. Just to be honest, Fluttermane looking good here. Fluttermane's looking good. So I'm just going to stay with the same moveset. Wild Charge the Arcanine slot. Go into a... Uh, go into a Moonblast here. And he's just going to hard swap that slot. That's fine by me. So he ends up hard swapping this slot. He's going to go into Rillaboom. Rillaboom sets that terrain. Rillaboom, a little bit of problem. Always a problem. Always a problem. So Moonblast now comes across here. It's gonna do a little bit of damage here. We got a special attack drop, but it doesn't matter. I think it's physical attack here. Flutter Blitz is gonna come across here. He's gonna actually die to recoil damage. That takes out my Flutter Mane. He might be choice banned. But he will die out to recoil damage, so the Wild Charge will actually slide over to Little Boom. Which is not gonna do any crazy damage, but still. I'll take it. I will take it. Wild Charge coming in hot here. Like I said, not doing anything crazy, but still, I'll take the damage. So from here, they can fake me out. Um, I do have Ogre Pond ready to go. I also have you. Which I could bring in here. That's the second one we're going to do. I'm going to bring in Infernape. And I'm just going to protect him. I'm going to post that threat onto the field. We're kind of hoping he's not throwing out Urshifu here. Would be a little bit of a problem. Especially because for certain strikes. And cool, he doesn't go for it. So now I can take some speed. I mean, now's the perfect time to actually just hard swap into Ogre Pond. And probably just protect you. Or I could just go into Raging Fury. I'm just going to protect and see how this one plays out here. So the swap of the Iron Hands comes out here. He could set up a Tailwind. I got Ogre Pond ready to go. Ogre Pond's still here. I still have Terra type, which I don't know who I really want to use this on. Ends up faking out this slot, which isn't a big deal. He goes for a Bleak Wind Storm, which could be a problem. Can you dodge it, Ogre Pond? Oh my god, I love you. Oh my lord, I love you. So they don't have Tailwind set up, which is pretty massive. I still have Focus Ash on... I still have Focus Ash on Infernape. And what's your speed, Infernape? I don't know who I Terrasilize here. To be honest with you guys, I have no idea who to Terrasilize. And I think I might Terrasilize Infernape just so I can pick up a KO and take out Rillaboom, right? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna Spiky Shield here. They still have Terra as well. This is, oh my god, I don't know what I wanna do here. I think I'm just gonna Terrasilize you. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm going to Terrasilize you. I'm going to Ivy Cudgel this slot. And I, I, I guess. I, I want to go for Raging Fury into Infernape. And I didn't even get off a of Terrasilize, which is terrible. I didn't even get off a of Terror. So what are we even going for? Close combat's coming through here. You know what? That That's awful. That is like the worst move choice ever. And what are you going for? I dropped my defense for no reason. And I lose Rock Helmet HP. Ivy Cudgel still comes out here. Cool. I don't use my Terra, but still that works out fine. So I pick up a KO there. This should have been a... This should have been a double KO turn. I should have just stuck with my guns and just kept in front of to Rastalize. But I lived on 1 HP. 1 HP. So now he's forced to send out Urshifu. Urshifu is here. And I think from here, like, obviously we just want to go for... I think we just would hammer this down, right? And then I could just go for a mock punch into somebody. Probably you, right? Yeah. I'm gonna go for a mock punch. Just look to get off some damage. I definitely should have just terrestrialized Raging Fury there. And I'm not I'm not gonna change my typing on my Ogre Punch just yet. Considering I really just wanna I really don't wanna uh, take big time damage to grass move. So let's see what Rillaboom ends up doing here. Ends up going for a wood hammer, which we should be able to soak, right? 
Cool, you end up soaking that. Beautiful. And we'll actually take recoil damage here. So hopefully this thing's not sashed, right? Are you sashed? No, cool. All right. I like it. I like where we're sitting. We still have Iron Hands in the back end. I think we die out to recoil damage on Woodhammer. But hey, that's no problem. That's no problem. So we get out Infernape here in match number one. And kind of screw up with them. We could have just taken out the roll with no problem. But everything works out perfectly. It turns to a 1v1 here. Because yeah, I kind of got my head there. I was just like, wait, maybe I'm not going to Terrasalize. Because then if he Bleak Wind Storms, I take some big time damage with Ogre Pond. And it's just an absolute mess. But no, everything's working out perfectly. Everything is working out perfectly. So from here, how many turns are left in terrain? I could just fake out, to be honest. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. I still have Terra here as well. But Grass Terror? Yeah, might as well Grass Terror, right? <laughs> I should have actually waited till next turn to actually do it. And he's going to end up Terrasalizing as well. So we'll see a Terra from him, and we'll see a Terra from me. I actually get the fake out chance. He's going to go into Steel. That's totally fine, because I was Drain Punching anyway. Yeah, it's pretty much going to give us the win. No shot, especially when we terrestrialize in grass to be able to soak up the shots easier. Lovely. Lovely. And he has stomping tantrum. I'm not trying to deal with stomping tantrum, right? <laughs> it's just a problem. Big time problem. <clears throat> yeah, Infernape. I, li I like it here. I like it here in these situations. We brought him out at the perfect time. The fake out comes out here. We'll take a nice little flinch easy on here. And he's probably sitting here like, oh man, I can't go for stomping tantrum anymore. Nah, yo, this game's over. You're not KO my Iron Hands in one shot. It's just not happening. It's just not happening. It's not happening. We'll lock it into Drain Punch. That should be game. They're not even going to cancel. He's going to go for a U-turn. And U-turn did a nice chunk, but definitely not enough damage. Because Drain Punch coming through here. And we'll take match number one. 1-0 one to get things started. Let's go hop into a second. Look to use Infernape a little bit better and win that next match. Second match coming at you guys. Would love to use Infernape here again in match number two. We're going up against a Gothitelle and Clefairy team. Definitely could be some sort of gimmick, but usually you run Gothitelle with Screamtail to run that Parasong gimmick. So I kind of wonder what's going on here. They also got Landorus. They also got Shen Pao. Golden Go for a great special attacker. And then they got Old Reliable with Iron Hands. Um, who should I lead here? I mean, they could intimidate us turn one, so I could maybe just go Defiant King Gambit. Fine King Gambit is actually not bad here, considering you can do some work onto a lot of different Pokemon. So I'm kind of down with it, right? Can't go wrong with it. So I'm going to go King Gambit. I'm also going to lead either Iron Hands or Fluttermane, and I'm kind of leaning towards Fluttermane just for a bit more of that speed control. And plus, if they're going to Intimidate here, we can also just not really worry about it because that's a special attacker. We'll bring Infernape in the back end. And then last but not least, Ogre Pond or Landers? Ogre Pond or Lando Lando? I like Ogre Pond because, you know, it's Ogre Pond. It could do a lot of work, plus it's good on the support side. But Landers with the Choice Scarf just to make this team very hyper-offensive could be good. It could be good, especially with Intimidate. It could be good. What are your moves again? U-Turn, Rock Slide, Stomp the Tantrum. Okay, so we have moves that are going to be super effective onto Shen Pao. Yeah, we got we got a Rocket. Onto Shen Pao, Golden Go, and Iron Hands. I like it. So we're going to make this team a bit more hyper-offensive. We're going to lock in Landers in the back end. They have a few physical attackers as well, so Intimidate can help us out on that side of the field too. So, let's do it. Let's do it. But yeah, got to get Infernape out there. I used Close Combat, or I didn't use Close Combat, since I ran out of time the game used Close Combat onto Tornadoes, which is just awful. Like, if it would have used it on Robum, I wouldn't mind that, but I really just wanted to Raging Fury down that, uh, that Robum and pretty much just take it out. So they end up going into these two Pokemon. Um, I could just Protect... The, what's it called? I could protect the King Gambit here. I'm not gonna lie, this is kind of scary. This is kind of scary. Um, because these typings just not working out well. I think we should just intimidate these guys. To be honest with you. Yeah, I'm gonna swap in just intimidate turn one, and I'm just gonna terrestrialize Fairy here. I wish I had even attack here. I think I might put the Shen Pao to 1 HP, right? Makes the most sense, yeah. Let's attack the Shen Pao. Let's attack the Shen Pao. So we're going to swap the King Gambit. We'll save for later. We'll save for later, and we'll drop a nice little bit Intimidate on two physical attackers. Right off the rip. We're going to use our Terra here as well. Get it out the way early. And the reason I want to use this is because I don't want Sucker Punch doing a crazy amount of damage to me or any Dark-type move coming in here. 
Plus, I get a big time damage boost. Might as well use it. Up against these two Pokemon that are weak to fairy. It's perfect time to use it. So intimidate out and about. We got both these Pokemon minus one. Kind of hoping they don't Thrasilize unless it's Iron Hands. But they don't even go for a fake out here. Hopefully she's going for a Drain Punch. Moonblast coming across here, and yeah, you're Sashed. You are a Sash Pokemon, which I kind of figured, but I have landed to drop a Rock Side next turn if need be. Ice Spinner is going to come across here, and no shot you go for Ice Spinner there. There's just no way. You go for Ice Spinner into my King Gambit slot? That, that, that was just a good read. That's just a phenomenal read. And Wild Charge coming out here doing big time damage to me. Wow. Wow, that hurts the soul. Um, I guess we gotta go back into you, right? Or oh, we gotta go into Infernape at this point. Yeah. Gotta go Infernape at this point. That hurts, man. That, that, that really hurts. That really hurts. So I'm really hoping a Sucker Punch doesn't KO us. Um, Infernape's Mach Punch isn't gonna be faster than Sucker Punch, is it? It might be. Actually, we're gonna go for that. We're gonna go for Mach Punch here, and we're just gonna look to rip a Moonblast into the slot. Wow, that really hurts. That really hurts, losing my Lando like that, that easily. Tough news there. So we're hoping Mach Punch just comes out before Sucker Punch, and we can pick up a KO on the Shen Pao. But not having Lando? Not even for a turn? Oh my god, that's ugly. That's real ugly. So they could end up withdrawing Iron Hands here, which is highly, like, that's really likely. They get its fake out back and the reset its attack stat. But man, I was really hoping we just have Lando there. I would think like a Drain Punch would come out. So he ends up protecting Shen Pao. That's cool. That's fine by me. No Terra comes out from Iron Hands, which is fine. My Punch is going to get blocked. We still have Focus Ash, which is wonderful. And Moonblast, how much damage are you doing? Can you just like dump on this thing? Can you just tell this thing to go home? Get rid of this thing? No, you don't. He's so bulky. Close combat gonna come through here. And that's fine by me because we have Focus Ash. So I got Pokemon real low on HP. I could pick up some KOs, that'd be lovely. That would be so lovely. But from here, we're going for another Mach Punch. So we'll go for Mach Punch and... We're just gonna Moonblast down the slot again. No point not to, right? The thing I'm scared of is Sucker Punch, man. Is Sucker Punch gonna come out before Mach Punch? I think Mach Punch might have priority over Sucker Punch. I'm gonna really hope so, right? I'm gonna really hope so. Might end up swapping you. I don't know. They're really thinking. They're really thinking. Maybe I should just protect it in front of and just went for like an icy one or something. No sucker punch. Yeah, see, I should have. I should have. That would have been a play. That would have put into play. So he's able to KO me there. I still have Gambo. Moonblast gonna fly here. Gonna KO you. And this one, we're having a tough outing here. Losing my Lando like that really hurts. It's rough. It's rough. So now we got King Gambit left. Um, and this Shen Pao being a, being a problem is a problem, right? Being a problem is a problem. And they also go into Clefairy here. So I mean, Icy Wind's definitely your best bet here. And I think maybe like Sword Dance boosting here. Sword Dance boosting, yeah. And going into Icy Wind is nice. So I wonder if he's going for Sucker Punch or not. He does not. That's huge. That's huge. Because Icy Wind KOs and I get a free Sword Dance boost. So we're still in this a lot. We definitely are because even with the moves, with the uh, dark moves being not very effective, the Sword Dance boost, insane. Insane. Plus two on attack. King Gambit ready to go. He is ready to go. And we still have Fluttermane who's going to be fast on the field. Unless this thing is Choice Scarf. And he's going to Defiant boost me? You better stop that, Lando. You better stop that. So we're plus three. We're plus three on attack. Ungodly massive. That's ungodly massive. So, they didn't Terrastalize yet. So, I think they were saving it for Lando. Um, I could just Icy Wind again. But Kaltak Cleave definitely going to be my play. I'm going to Kaltak Cleave here. And honestly, I'd rather just... I'd rather just Moonblast in this Clefairy. Try to get some damage off onto it. It could go for Follow Me. It might not. You never know. But now's the time to just attack. Because if Lando's not truly Scarfed... My Fluttermane's gonna outspeed and get off some big time damage before it goes out. But chances are it's a rock slide play. Could be rock slide following me. 
But being plus three with King Game, that sword stance play was huge. But out is gonna come to Terror type. Gotta be Lando, right? It's gotta be Lando. And what and what Terror type you, you rock? Flying? Yeah, you're gonna be straight flying. That's cool. That's fine by me. That's fine by me. And there's follow me. Please don't be choice scarfed. Even if you are, Fluttermane still might be able to outspeed. Yeah, Fluttermane's getting off a big time turn. So we got Moon Blast coming in here. Dealing some nice damage on the Clefairy. I think Kowtow Cleave should be able to finish off. Because you're going to have EQ. Which King Gambit eats. Oh, you KO Clefairy. We just won the game. We just won the game. Awesome. So your own EQ KO in your Clefairy really lost you the game. Because Kowtow Cleave is going to slide over. It should probably just one shot, but if it doesn't, we have Sucker Punch lined up to kind of just finish off this match. Captain Cleave plus three, get this Lando on out of here, and we make the comeback victory without our Lando. So, 2-0 to get things started. Let's go hop into our third, try to use Infernape a little bit better, and uh, go for a perfect record. Final match on its way. We brought Infernape in match number one and match number two, but we didn't really get to showcase it to its fullest potential. We kind of messed up using it in match number one, and then in match number two, they protected it and ended up dumping on it. So it's all good. Match number three is here. We're going up against a Galarian Zapdos team, which is such a cool Pokemon. Then they got Cornerstone Ogre Pond, Fluttermane, Old Reliable Iron Hands, and then Ting Lu and Dragon. But King Gambit was great in that last match. They don't have any Intimidate Pokemon. They also have a Defiant Pokemon, so if we want to bring in Landers, we definitely have to watch out for that, that bird right there. But I think a solid lead for us could be Fluttermane and Fernie. I think Fernie would be a fun lead for us, actually. I mean, I see they have Iron Hands who, who could potentially be a lead for them. But, I mean, in that case, we could just protect the Infernape and just go into Fluttermane, right? Yeah, I think that's cool. Fluttermane's just such a solid Pokemon all around. So I'm going to go Fluttermane. I'm going to go Infernape, and then in the back end... I'm gonna go Iron Hands and Ogre Pond? Ogie? Yeah, Ogre Pond. Ogre Pond's a man. We gotta bring Ogre Pond. We gotta bring Ogre Pond. So we're 2 0. We already guaranteed ourselves a winning record. We love the perfect record, but this this match is for fun. This is just a fun one. But yeah, I'm kind of hoping they maybe even lead Iron Hands because then the fit out is gonna be forced in Infernape. Then we just put up a nice little shield. We just block that, no problem. And then we have Fluttermane do his own thing. But then I'm going into Zapdos and Ogre Pond, which is actually really fine by me. That's really fine by me because I have Focus Sash. I could Icy one if I want to, but I would pop the Fine at that point. Um, I think our best bet would just be close combating the Ogre Pond here. Looking to just deal some damage. And maybe just... Do I Terra Moonblast? I think I just regular Moonblast, right? Yeah. Regular Moonblast can be playing. He ends up detecting. That's cool. That's fine by me. And what's Ogre Pond going for? That's the real question. I actually think Infernape can outspeed Ogre Pond. At 160 speed, you're pretty fast, Infernape. Yeah, you are. Let's go. Infernape coming in here. Big time close combat. And you got sturdy. God dang sturdy. I can mock punch that later, which is nice. We drop our defense. And I'm kind of hoping he's just going Ivy Cudgel into Infernape at this point. I do have that focus ash. But no, he's going after the flutter me. Do not crit me. Cool. I'm low on HP though. <laughs> I'm real low on HP. So from here, again, mock punch definitely gonna be the play. And then we'll just keep throwing moon blast into his after slot, right? He could spiky shield. He could definitely spiky shield. Big time option, because Zapdos doesn't have any first time priority. So I'm, I'm gonna read the spiky show. I'm just gonna read the spiky show. It seems simple to just read the spiky show and just go into evasion fury here. Yeah, let's just throw it. Let's just throw it. It seems simple. It seems simple, right? You gotta be spiky shield here. No, we got first time priority. No, we outspeed you like that. But Zathos end up gonna gonna end up terrestrializing. Go into poison type. Really solid type. Really solid type. Gotta be Spike Shield, right? Yeah, okay, cool. I was gonna say, I don't wanna lose our Focus Ash. I know we can't Mach Punch next turn, but being able to just drop a Moon Blast here and a Raging Fury is gonna be pretty solid for us. Why'd it go into that slot? Does it always go diagonal? I kinda don't really know how it works, but that's kinda real ugly that we uh, made the read and didn't even get, didn't get any value towards it. That's so stupid. Get on out of here. Get on out of here with that. Um, Iron Hand's gonna come out here. I'm cool with that. 
And I'm just gonna fake out the Ogre Palm for the KO. Not dealing with that. <laughs> Not dealing with that, because I want Raging Fairy to go up against the bird, man. And I could go into here. The user rampages in Spoon Flames for two to three turns, then the user becomes confused. I know how it works. It's just... Why'd it go after the Ogre Pond? I should've went after the Zapdos. But I'll fake out the Ogre Pond. Just for the KO here. And then Rage and Fury can get off some damage onto the Zapdos, which could be nice. I do have Focus Ash, so I'm kinda hoping he just drill packs me and brings me down to Focus Ash. Just so my Raging Fairy can do more damage next turn. But this one's doing some big time damage. We love that. Of course you got the berry. But still, in front of him getting some work done here in match number three, which I love. I love getting work done with him. Brave Bird's gonna come out here. You might die to recoil here. How much recoil damage is gonna do? We got that sash, baby. We got that sash all day. Recoil damage almost KO the bird. Almost dropping the bird. I don't mind where we're sitting. We still have Ogre Pond in the back end, which is beautiful. I could see Flutterman coming out here, and that's exactly what comes out here. And I got Heavy Slam ready to roll. I got Heavy Slam ready to roll, so I'm just going to Heavy Slam here. I can't really do anything about the Raging Fury. I'm kind of stuck in it. I would have loved to protect this turn, but we're stuck in it right now. So, Dazzle Gleam actually doing insane amount of damage onto my Iron Hands. But I don't think the bird can KO us here, right? Can you KO us here? You cannot. Beautiful. So Recoil is going to take out the Zapdos. And now Heavy Slam is going to come across here and take out the Fluttermane. That's a massive turn. In front of getting off a lot of value this match. And we're doing awesome right now. We're doing awesome. So Heavy Slam, big time play. Taking out the Fluttermane. But I feel bad for our opponent there. Because if they would have KO'd the uh, Iron Hands there, they would have had an easy dub. Easy dub. But I survive on 11 HP. Thank you, Assault Vest. Thank you, Assault Vest. And now Ting loses her final Pokemon with no Terror ready to go. I can just pretty much Ivy Cudgel this thing down. Alongside with Dream Punch. Because if Iron Hands is... If Iron Hands is faster, I will get back a ton of HP. But I do have Terror, so I might as well Thrastalize here. Terra, Drain Punch. Should be game, set, match. Should be game, set, match. Beautiful 3-0 record for you guys. I'm saying it now. Because this match is in a bag. That's in a bag. That's in a bag. This match is in the bag. No problem. We even put on the Wellspring Mask for a nice little damage output. Plus, I just want to be straight water typing at this point. And I get that lovely special defense boost. Even though this Pokemon is a physical attacker. Actually, there is one way we lose this match. Is if this thing's got Fisher and it's just laying into me and landing him. But I think this thing takes crazy damage to that. Yeah, you just die to that. Awesome, we get a crit too. Perfect. You know what? We don't even have to deal with the thing though. Like I said, 3 0 record. Come on, man. That's too easy. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Using Infernape on the regulation knee ladder and going 3 0 and grabbing ourselves a perfect record. That third and final match was a perfect example of showcasing Infernape. Raging Fury doing some crazy damage. Close combat getting after it. And then the Focus Ash helping us keep this Pokemon on the field a little bit longer to do even more work. But guys, that is going to be for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.